what is up with you all welcome to my channel and today we're going to talk about what i learned from youtube as a small youtuber So my name is Karin, I am Indonesian who is currently living in Sweden and I once studied in the UK for my master's degree and for the past three months I've been trying to grow my YouTube channel. A little bit of story time, so I started uploading videos two years ago. I shared my experience about studying in the UK and how I got a scholarship to study in the UK. My first video about that, this one, got picked up quite a bit and it is actually still my most viewed video until today and I kind of stopped uploading videos because life got in the way but then in February 2020, I got back at it, I started uploading more videos and here we are. Although I'm still such a teeny tiny YouTuber, I've seen teeny tiny growth in my channel by uploading more consistently and I personally feel like I learned a lot from doing YouTube more religiously and I felt why not to share it with you guys so here are the three things I learned the first one is you got to take your time be it recording your video editing your video gaining subscribers gaining engagements you have to be patient and it's really easy for us to want to you know go viral immediately because there are people who actually you know go viral with their first video or their second video but the truth is it's not that easy guys especially when you're starting it's going to take some time for you to um get used to your editing style get used to your you know thumbnail style listening to youtube guru is great but at the end of the day you have to just give yourself and give your youtube channel some time my favorite youtube guru is actually katherine manning i'm going to put her videos and her channel here if you're thinking about starting your channel or if you're thinking about growing your channel as a small youtuber katherine manning is definitely a channel that you must binge watch because um, she made very good points about how to grow your YouTube channel organically of course one of the things that I learned from her is to just take your time and to really focus on making better content because not everybody can go viral overnight and even if you go viral overnight can you then keep up and maintain creating better content. It even took her a year and a half to get to her first 1000 subscribers. And I'm not saying that, you know, you should take that long and she wasn't saying that either. But the point is that your timeline is just different with everyone else. The important thing is to keep on making consistent content and making good content. And that what I've been doing, my channel now is growing although you know slowly but it's growing and that's good enough another thing i learned is to not judge your results too quickly i used to judge my video only after a week it got uploaded um, i used to only get like 30 to 50 views within the first week and i thought these videos were not being picked up and at the time i had less than 500 subscribers now I got at least 100 views per video in a week and that's like very slow growth but it's growth after all you know and you got better at knowing what kind of content your viewers want to see and that's just you know the point of taking your time the second thing is to focus on connection not only numbers Obviously, when you're on YouTube, you want to grow your channel. You want to have as many subscribers as you can. You want to get that silver play button, 100k subscribers, or even 1 million subscribers. However, it's very easy to forget about connection. And I have a story about this one. So a little bit over a month ago, I joined a Facebook group for Indonesian YouTubers. And I wanted to join the group because I thought I can 
get you know more tips or tricks and i could learn from other youtubers indonesian youtubers on how to grow your audience on how to make better content i thought that was the content of this group right so i joined the group i got accepted but apparently the group was a place for people to you know do this sub for sub kind of like a likes for likes or follow for follow and i was like okay this is kind of interesting and i tried it once so i put my youtube channel i put the name of my channel there and i think i got like not that much i think i got like two or three subscribers and <laughs> i don't know how to say it but i actually don't prefer it so I try to subscribe back to this one person who subscribed to me from this Facebook group but when I was looking at his content, it wasn't the kind of content that I would personally enjoy and even when I was looking at his comment section, I can see that a bunch of his comments were people inviting him back to their channel so it's another sub for sub situation and i'm not saying that you shouldn't do that because obviously it's a strategy for small youtubers to support each other and to you know grow your audience through other youtube channels even i did it too i did it to some channels but i did that to channels i know have similar topic as mine or has a similar niche and has similar audience as mine so to try to gain audience from a whole different channel talking about a whole different topic i just don't think that's how i want to do it you know what i mean long story short i decided to left the group because they just started spamming my notification on facebook that's what I mean by focusing more on connection than numbers. Obviously, numbers are great, but YouTube is such a great platform to build your own community. I don't think it's for me to just grow by numbers, but then having subscribers who basically don't give a shit about what I make. Like right now, I like it better to know that I have a slow but steady growth of subscribers who more frequently comment on my videos because of my content because I know that my videos are relatable for them and I know that they enjoy and at the end of the day it is a strategy sub for sub and small youtubers really support each other which is great but at the end of the day your content is the thing that will make you grow more sustainably the third thing is to commit yourself and even though i said that i don't want to focus on numbers only but i still see some growth from my analytics especially since me when i really started focusing on making better content on specifying my keywords and my seo so i've seen some growth in there and here's i'm showing you my analytics from may to august and you can see in may there's a significant growth as well as in june and july and now till august even though it's just a small growth and it happens because i take it more seriously i upload videos more regularly and i really started to listen to my audience what kind of content that will be relatable for them within my niche and i got better at my editing like what i said in the first point that i need to take my time and you know even though my subscribers growth is not more than 100th a month but it's still something and i remember this quote from katherine manning um she said that just imagine even though you only have 100 subscribers or 100 views in a week or in a day 
imagine that there are still people that there are people out there who subscribe to you who are really interested well might maybe not really but who are interested enough to your content to subscribe or to click on your videos so just imagine that 100 people in a room and what she said just kind of got me motivated so every time i feel down about my numbers i just remember that quote from her and i'm like yeah let's just keep on going especially when you're doing it from scratch and alone you will upscale at a lot of stuff um, from making better youtube videos recording editing speaking in front of camera to youtube seos algorithm keywords and you know general motivational thing that you get because you want to make better content it takes a lot of courage motivation hard work and persistence i would say so that's it those are the three things i learned from doing youtube religiously for the past three months i'm still on my way in getting my first 1000 subscribers i'm seeing growth even though small but steady so i'm really excited for that but also remember i think that number is not the first priority my first priority right now as a small youtuber is to make connection and to build my community and i'm just very excited every time i see your comments and i will reply to them one by one so if you have the same experience or if you're also going through the same thing or if you're thinking of starting a channel write it down on the comment box down below and i will reply to your comments and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so the button is down here and i guess that's it for me i hope you're having a good day bye